Hello everyone and welcome back to another Life is Feudal MMO guide. Since the relaunch of the MMO, I've been getting asked a lot regarding how the skilling works. So today I'm going to explain everything you need to know regarding the skilling and what you need to do and what not to do. So as always, what you need to do is press L on the keyboard and it will bring up your skills. So the way it works in the MMO is every action you accrue experience points in this bar here. And underneath that bar is this one here, which is your skill cap. In the MMO, you have a thousand skill cap. But if you have some intellect, it will bump it up past a thousand. And for the purpose of this video, let's just say you want to do the forestry and that's it. And you want to do all of the cooking line and including tailoring. You only can have two active skills learning at the one time. So that goes for your main skills. So if you've got two main skills active learning, you cannot learn anything in combat, but you can accrue points in combat. If you say, I don't know, attack an animal, for example, you'll get combat points and these will build up, but you will not learn anything in them because you have currently got two skills active in your main skill queue, okay? These points will only get added if I was to pause one of these. And to pause them, they're really simple. All you got to do is, is right click. So once you've right clicked, it will get this little gray box here. That means no more points will get added to that skill. So you only now have one skill available learning, okay? So for example, this is farming. But what this does, is it frees up one now skill that can be learned. So let's say, for example, a shelter. You can go ahead and left click and you'll get the up arrow there. And look in the top right corner and you can see the points there. And it'll tell you how long it's remaining before it's learned as it's pulling from this combat experience. In the MMO, you get a skill cap of 400 for combat. And this also applies to your minor skills. So like your piety, mentoring, and horseback riding, and so forth. Like I said, every action creates experience. So you can have up to a million experience accrued. Let's just say you do have a full bar, nothing happens. You just can't generate any more experience, which will get added to your skills, which you have active. What is the good thing about this is if you do a lot of work in your base, for example, and you do get quite a full bar, you can turn the game off. You can go away and do something else and your skills will continue pulling from this experience pool here and they will keep on learning. But for example, let's just say my farming has just hit level 60. That's what you had to go up. It would stay at 60, okay, until I told it that I wanted to go up another 30 points and then it would start pulling from these again because every 30 points, they do pause. So you've got to reactivate them. Personally, I think this way is far superior because in the olden days, you had to do the job that you wanted to do. So let's just say you want to do construction. The only way you could get points in construction was by doing construction. Now you can do anything you like to help your clan. And as long as you've got the skill you want to uh, learn ticked up, points will go into that regardless if you're doing it or not. So you can contribute more around the base and be more of an active member within the clan and still gain your points in the profession you want to do. A perfect example is I haven't done any tailoring yet and I've got 12 points in it because I was learning that a little bit last night. So it's great. I was doing terraforming at the time but I was getting points into tailoring. Every active skill you have which you are learning you can just click on them for forestry level 90. It's going to take me one more day and 15 hours, for example, from my current experience pool that I've got. That's not too bad. Obviously, I need to do a bit more work because I'm actually running low on experience here. It does give you a good indication of how long you're going to have to wait before you can get your skill to 90, for example. And that is the skill and system in Life is Feudal MMO. For those who have been asking, hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments what tutorial you want to see next for Life is Feudal MMO. One last thing, I am now part of the Life is Feudal MMO partner program. If you want to support the channel and you are you're just interested in the game in general, you can click the link down in the pinned comments. I'll get a small kickback from every subscription generated through that link. If you want to support me and you are interested in playing the game, feel free to click that link in the pinned comments. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.